जय हिंद आई एम कैरेट्रिशिका टी बी रिप्रेजेंटिंग कर्नाटका गोवा डायरेक्टोरेट सिक्स कर्नाटका एयर स्क्वार एन एन सी सी मैंगलोर एन सी एयरविंग फ्लाइट ए इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टॉपिक एरो मॉडलिंग सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द प्रेजेंटेशन ओके सो वॉट इज एन एरो मॉडलिंग इट्स नथिंग बट बिल्डिंग एंड फ्लाइंग अ मॉडल एयरक्राफ्ट सो देन वेन डिड इट ऑल स्टार्ट टू नो दैट लेट्स गो स्टार्ट विद द हिस्ट्री ऑफ एरो मॉडलिंग Dr Thomas Young who was born in England on 13 June 1773 was the first person to discover the lifting property of a cambered surface in comparison to the flat surface and then Sir George Cayley who was born in England on 27 December 1773 built a helicopter model based on a design of Leonardo da Vinci He is one of the most important person in the history of aeronautics. He himself is an inventor and an aviator. After that, John Stringfellow, who was also born at England in the year 1799, built a small spring-operated model, followed by a number of different and bigger models powered by two-stroke as well as steam engines. He is also one of the most important person in the field of aeronautics. and then we have alphonse pinan who was born in paris on 31st may 1850 who invented models fitted with tail surfaces and wings with dihedral angles and in 1878 professor langley built a petrol driven model called aerodrome 0.5 so then what are the materials used to build an aero model let's see balsa wood it is perfect for model making It is used because of its lightweight quality and can be easily cut with a knife. Spruce wood. It is used where high strength with moderate weight is required. Japonica and plywood. These woods are also used because of its lightweight quality. Cement. Model cement is a gel-like substance that when applied to the joining surface of a model it forms a membrane that bonds the two different surfaces together because of its chemical qualities. Fast settling epoxy this material is used in the model because of its protective coating to extend the lifespan of an aircraft. Cyanoacrylate glue This glue is also called as CA in the model making world. This is used because of the strong and fast acting qualities on the surface. Putty. This is used to fill the imperfections such as nail holes or so. This helps us to give the model a nice and finished look. Metal paste. This is mainly used to fill any small dent over a metallic and solid surface. Dope. It is a plasticized lacquer that is applied to a fabric covered aircraft. It tightens and stiffens the fabric stretched over an airframe. Paints. The most common paints used are acrylic or enamel paints. since these paints doesn't dissolve in water sandpapers sandpapers are used to give the model a smooth and clean finished look fiber glass these types of glasses are used in aero model cuz of its very flexible quality Since we know what are the materials used let's learn about the different types of aero models static models these aero models cannot fly and are simply used for displaying and educational purposes glider it is a fixed wing aircraft that is supported in flight by the dynamic reaction of the air against its lifting surfaces whose free flight doesn't depend on engine 
Control line models. Control line is a simple and light way of controlling a flying model aircraft. The aircraft is connected to an operator by a pair of lines attached to a handle that works the elevator of a model. This allows the model to be controlled in a pitch axis. Radio control models. A radio controlled aircraft is a small flying machine that is controlled remotely by an operator on the ground using a handheld radio transmitter. Now let's move on to the construction of static models. To construct an aero model, one will be provided with all the model kits. To shape the model using a sandpaper is important since it gives a smooth and neat look. It is a static model so it is always fixed onto the drawing board. Later the parts are assembled together as per the dimensions. Dope is applied using a brush. And to give a model a realistic look, painting is also important. Once we get the result, the model is used in demo and practicals. Let's move on to the construction of control line models. In the initial stage, the whole plane is fixed onto the drawing board. Later, the individual parts are fixed on it with the help of pins. Then the various components are assembled together with correct alignment. Later, assemble the bell crank assembly with the lead outs carefully. After that, the model is then covered with a silver foil. Then the dope may be applied using a brush. Once we get the result, it's ready for demo and practicals. Now let's move on to the construction of remote control models. First, we'll have to ensure that the engine compartment is properly treated with paintwork before the engine installation. Extreme care is needed to be taken to ensure that the thrust line of the propeller is in the line with the fuselage. Then the engines are mounted together either by projection made out of hardwood beam or in screws against the flywood. Install the radio control server as per the requirement to make sure that the control rods can be moved freely. Wrap up the receiver and battery pack together and place it in the model. And then assemble the wing using pair of rubber bands or screws. Once we get the result, it's ready for demo and practicals. Since we are done with the construction of different types of models, let's learn more about how to fly a model. Flying of the models. First thing first, check the model for correction of alignment. The wing and tail must be checked from front and rear for settings. Then the testing is carried out during midday when there is little or no wind. Make sure to use lead weight on the nose and tail for better balance as required. Power flight is not advisable till the gliding test is carried out successfully. The model should be launched gently and it should fly for short distance and land perfectly. Now let's know more about safety codes. First, we'll have to make sure if the model aircraft is noisy. If yes, then it should be flown at RC flying club fields or well away from public ears because we should make sure not to disturb anybody around us. We'll have to be very aware of the radio gear battery levels at all times. A drop in charge after lots of flying will result in aircraft going out of range and also out of control. Do not fly the model in careless or reckless manner. Also make sure that one is not anywhere near the speeding up vehicles, busy roadways, power lines or obstacles should always respect the privacy and properties of others. Do not fly near emergency or rescue operations such as wildfires, hurricane recovery efforts, etc. Make sure to fly within the skill limitations because what is chiefly needed is skill rather than machinery. Hope you find this video useful. Thank you.